So first thing to do is to open the node panel and type in Google Drive. Okay, then click on any of the available triggers to bring up the Google Drive settings. To get the Google Drive trigger working, we need to set up our Google credentials. Let's click on create new credential here. And here, as you can see, we have Auth2 and service account. Keep it on Auth2. After that, we need the Auth redirect URL that appears right here. So click on it to copy the URL and save it for later use. Okay, now let's head over to console.cloud.google.com. And from here, we'll start by creating a new project. Let's click on my first project here and new project. I name it NA10 test and create. The creation process might take a few moments. So we'll wait for it to finish. Okay, now it's finished. Let's click on select project. So first thing to do is to navigate to the API and services. Then let's proceed to credential tab here. From here, we'll choose to create credentials. And we'll select the option to build an auth client ID. Then we need to first set up the auth consent screen. So we're going to click on configure consent screen and then get started. We'll assign a name for our app. I'll name it NA10 work. And I'll use my email. Next, we choose the external option for now since we're just testing our specified Google account, then click on next, then here enter your email for contact. And click on next. Agree and continue. The only required step for now is to add a test user from audience. I will click on add users and I will add an email here. And save. We've completed the audience setup, so now we head into the clients, select create client and choose the application type as web application then scroll down add uri and paste in the redirect uri this is the one we copied earlier from our google drive setup in na10 then click on create okay once it's created let's copy the client id let's paste it here and let's copy our client secret and let's paste it here in client secret the final step is to head back into your Google Cloud Console and search for Google Drive API. And here click on Enable. Okay, once that's done, you can go ahead and sign in. And NA10 will handle the authentication seamlessly. And here we go. Okay, now I'll move ahead and access my Google Drive integration. Let's add a node here. GDR, Google Drive. So for this workflow, I'm using Google Drive and the goal here is to download a file. So let's click on download file. We have our credential set, our resource is file and the operation is download. I've uploaded an audio file to my Google Drive. It's an MP3 titled Introduction to Prompt Engineering. And I make sure the file is shared. So let's click here, share, and make it anyone with a link. Let's copy the link and done. Let's go back here. Let's select URL and let's paste our URL here. Okay, let's test the step. NA10 now will connect to my Google Drive and download the MP3 file. As you can see, it's downloaded. Now let's go back to our canvas here. Next up, I'm going to integrate OpenAI. I click here, go to Advanced AI, then OpenAI, and the goal is to transcribe an audio. So let's click on Transcribe a Recording. So I specify the input as an audio file, choose transcribe recording function as operation. There is also other option like generating or translating audio, but for now transcription is what I'm going with. The node is already set to receive the input from the previous Google Drive step where the audio file was downloaded. So I simply map that data over and run a test. 
and A10 is now uploading this 3MB audio file to OpenAI where it will be processed and transcribed. And there it is, the full transcribed text of the introduction to prompt engineering lecture. Now I want to save this transcription back to Google Drive. Since I have a text output, the next step is to convert that into a file. So let's go back here. Let's add a note, search for convert, convert to file and convert to text file. Let's click it. So I specify that the output format should be a text file and I run a test step. Okay, great. Now let's upload this file to Google Drive. I'll add another node here, GDR, and let's select the upload file. Let's name the file test.txt. The file input will be the output of the previous node. So I'll map it accordingly and run a test. And here we go. Let's go back to my Google Drive. Let's refresh. And here we go. We have our text file right here. So you can see the full transcription. So with just a few straightforward steps, we've built an end-to-end -end automation, pulling audio from Google Drive, transcribing it with OpenAI, converting it into a file, and then uploading it right back into Drive. Okay, now let's expand on this existing setup. Our goal now is to incorporate more advanced AI features directly into this workflow. What we want to do next is to take the MP3 file we've already got and convert the audio into written text through transcriptions. Once we have the transcribed version, we'll enhance the process by adding two new steps. First, we'll create a summary of the transcription to distill the core content. Then we'll translate that summarized text into a different language. I'll use French as the example here, but in reality, you could choose from more than maybe 50 supported languages. After the translation step, we'll take the resulting text and transform it into a spoken audio in the chosen language. So let's dive into the build process. We'll be using two types of lang chain nodes, the basic LLM chain and the summarization chain. I'll walk you through how these components work in action and you'll see how remarkably capable they are. We'll begin by setting up the summarization chain node. Let's add that to the canvas. So let's explore the options available in this node. There are several different ways to feed input into it. In our current setup, we'll directly input the transcription result, but there are other configurations where you can attach files or use document loader. There are several different ways to feed input into it, in our current setup, we'll directly input the transcription result, but there are other configurations where you can attach files or use document loaders. These loaders support a variety of formats, PDFs, text files, and more. And they can feed content straight into this node. So this summarization node is designed to accept various input sources with these. For what we are doing, we'll just pass the output text from the previous transcription node into the summarization node. One notable feature here is the chunking strategy. This determines how text is broken down into smaller parts for processing. There are simple and advanced options available. The advanced strategy provides more customization around how segments are defined on your specific needs. We'll stick with the basic settings for this workflow. You also notice characters per chunk. This defines how much text is processed at a time. For now, just think of it as the size of the text blocks being processed individually. Now let's look at the summarization techniques and the prompt being used. We're going to leave the default configuration intact, but it's worth highlighting that this showcases the power of deep language model integration. The system takes large bodies of text, splits them into smaller parts, summarizes each piece, and then merges those into a final summary. It follows a method similar to MapReduce, very efficient for large-scale text processing. Langchain gives you several ways to configure summarization strategies, making this node extremely versatile. Okay, I'll go ahead and plug this summarization right after the transcription node in our workflow. Okay, once connected, the summarization chain will take the transcription as its input. 
I'll now select the OpenAI model I want to use. For this example, I'll choose OpenAI. And as you can see, I'm using GPT-40 Mini. Let's go back here. Okay, now let's go ahead and test it. Okay, I have uploaded a simple file, which is a recording of introduction to prompt engineering. Let's run OpenAI. The audio file is being uploaded to OpenAI for transcription. Once the transcription is completed, it will serve as the input for our summarization note. Now that we received the transcription, let's trigger the summarization note. As you can see, it quickly compresses that long piece of content into a concise summary. Okay, now let's move to the next step, audio generation. We're going to take the translated summary and turn it into spoken audio using a text-to-speech tool. So let's add a node here, advanced AI, open AI, and generate audio. Okay. Now let's take the text input here. Let's go back and test our workflow. So the audio file is pulled from Google Drive, then it gets transcribed. The transcription is then summarized. The summary is then translated. And finally, the translated version is converted into speech. Okay, it works perfectly. Now let's upload it to Google Drive. Let's remove this node right here and let's connect it it's going to take the translated spoken output and store it directly into my google drive root folder let's change the file extension to mp3 okay and let's test it and as you can see we have test.mp3 let's hear it Comprendre comment fonctionnent les invites dans les grands modèles de langage. Okay, it's in French. So the French or the summary was generated successfully. Now let's test how to switch to another language. Let's click on basic LM chain here. Translate this text to Arabic. Let's test it. And let's run the OpenAI to generate the audio. Okay, let's change the file name, test2, and let's run the test. Let's go back here, test2. فهم كيفية عمل المطالبة. And yes, it's in Arabic. Okay, now for the last phase of this project, we're going to integrate a feature that allows our system to automatically detect when a new MP3 file is uploaded into a specific folder on Google Drive. Once the system notices the new file in the folder, it will automatically activate and run the entire flow. To begin, I'm gonna open my Google Drive and create a new folder, audio. Okay, I'm gonna put my introduction to prompt engineering file in it. Okay, let's go back to NA10. So the audio folder will be serving as the source for the new MP3 files. Okay, let's head over to the note panel, GDR. Let's go to Google Drive and click on trigger. We're gonna click on changes to a specific file, okay? This trigger will be responsible for monitoring changes inside a specific folder. In this case, I'll configure it to watch for updates within the audio folder. So changes involving a specific folder. Let's select our folder, so audio. And I will specify that the trigger should activate whenever changes occur in this folder. Out of the available option like file updated, folder created, folder updated, I'm specifically selecting file created. This means that anytime a new mp3 file is added to the audio folder, this node will fire and kick off the workflow. Okay, let's click on fetch test event. Since I uploaded the file to the audio folder, the trigger captures that and displays a payload containing all of the file's metadata. At this point, I'll set up the Google Drive download node to reference this ID and confirm it's associated with my drive. So I'll drag this here and test it. 
and here we go so everything looks good so now I'll activate the workflow and do a real world test so let's activate it let's click on executions and let's try it let's change the output of the file download it here to new dot mp3 okay let's save activate okay so to test it let's upload our file again let's go back to our workflow and let's wait for the trigger it should take about one minute to detect it and here we go after a short wait the system detects the new file and begins processing automatically let's see the workflow so everything went smoothly to confirm that everything worked i'm gonna go back to my google drive home and check for the file new.mp3 and as you can see it was successfully generated by the workflow so with this setup in place anytime a new mp3 file is uploaded to the audio folder the system will automatically transcribe it and save the transcribed version completely hands-free thank you for watching if you like this video leave a like and subscribe